I think it goes without saying that almost any person would want a healthy and smart child. To live in a world where we don't have to worry about genetic disorders because we can prevent them during or before the earliest stages of conception. Maybe even going beyond that by increasing our intelligence, picking preferred body shapes, and even encouraging different personality types along with many other things. In theory, it all sounds pretty awesome. But what about the repercussions, both intentional and unintentional? Would all of this be truly worth attempting to achieve if it has the possibility to be bad for someone or even the majority of people? So long as it's beneficial to our species. Well, I'll give you some things to think about and let you decide for yourself. So let's dive into the two major concepts behind this. Simply trying to find ways to make us healthier, and finding ways to not only make us healthier, but improve us as a species. There are roughly three different means to do this, and the ones that come to my mind are testing after conception and deciding whether to continue the pregnancy, find a way to screen for healthy sex cells, and genetically engineering sex cells to make them healthy and even potentially improve them. Now, the reason why we keep coming back to this as something to at least consider is because we could literally completely eradicate all genetic disorders within humans by simply selecting the DNA within certain sex cells, haploid cells, to make sure that they are healthy and will produce healthy people. We spend billions upon billions of dollars a year trying to find cures for different genetic diseases, or at the very least try to prevent them or slow them down. Imagine if we can just eradicate them simply by making sure we only have healthy people being produced. Some disorders that are a result of genetics are ALS, Alzheimer's, cystic fibrosis, multiple different types of muscular dystrophy disorders, celiac disease, and many, many more. But we could also take this a step further by preventing things like blindness, deafness, missing limbs, allergies even, and many more things along those lines as well. It would be absolutely amazing to never have to worry about problems like this ever again. But will we run into problems like affordability, accessibility, regulation, and numerous legal matters? Will this be something that we enforce? Should parents have the ability to exclude themselves from such a program, even if that puts their child who will have no say in the matter at risk of having an unhealthy life? But I mean, just take a look at how we today treat the idea of vaccination. Though it's not enforced, many people think it should be. Should parents have the right to put their children in potential danger? Because if we're willing to say no, then we might be able to use that same logic on future debates. What are we willing to do to ensure that we are safe? Who will be responsible for children born with disorders that were preventable? What if only rich people can afford such a measure? Think about it. Now the next concept is way more controversial because it's basically eugenics. The science of improving human populations, typically by controlling breeding. What if we have the capability to not only ensure that our children will be healthy, but to also, as mentioned before, pick appearances, increase their intelligence, pick a body shape, and even give them certain personality traits. Think of something similar to when you create a sim on the video game The Sims. We might even be able to prevent psychological disorders, which could prevent quite a number of different problems in society. At face value, that might sound pretty awesome. But how we achieve that, how we would enforce that, and the potential problems it could cause within our society could be absolutely horrific. Could. As mentioned before, this would require testing. Testing on humans, having controlled and experimental populations to examine differences. And we could potentially make people who suffer greatly because of this. Why? Well, think of DNA more like an ecosystem rather than something you can just take things out and replace things with. Changing a gene in DNA, much like changing something in an ecosystem, could completely disrupt the balance affecting multiple things that you might not have even considered would have been affected. But if we could make technologies that can allow us to break past something that we've always had to rely on nature to get right for us, to break free from the uncertainties of life, to potentially control our own evolution. And by solving these issues at the most fundamental levels, we can invest more time into trying to find cures for other things, and potentially even make it easier for us as a species to leave this planet and live on other planets. 
but I want to bring up three social issues that I feel are very important to consider if we go down this road. First things first, would it be optional? If we give people the option to literally have genetically superior children, it's going to make other parents feel much more obligated to have their children be enhanced simply because they don't want them to be disadvantaged. But you'll always have people who will fight it and their children will have no say in the matter whatsoever. Are we willing to infringe on the beliefs of people simply because we want to ensure that their children will be healthy? Children who might not necessarily have the same beliefs as their parents. What will we do with all the people who literally can't compete with those who are genetically engineered? People who had no say in the matter. What if this is something you have to pay out of pocket for and only rich people have the means to afford it? This is dangerous because we could literally make possible for there to be a social class of people who are not only genetically superior but have mass quantities of wealth and potentially power. And as we have seen throughout history, especially with the Europeans, if you have money and believe you are more advanced than the people you have the capability to take advantage of, you're going to have people who will do that. And lastly, by doing this, you will literally create two populations of people. One that is literally superior than the other in probably every way. And you'll have the other population that will probably prize themselves on being natural or more legitimate. And this will make a superiority complex. I mean, today, we have a hard enough time accepting people who just have a different skin color. Could you imagine living in a world where we have two groups, one that is actually superior than the other and literally knows it? And scenarios like these make those dystopian books look a little more realistic. But even with that, we still have to consider that may not even happen at all. We might just get along with each other. Because if we raise people to have an education, be compassionate, and have fellowship, nurture will beat nature or artificial. We may nurture people to understand how to deal and progress through these situations, and that ideology alone is why we in the modern era have come so far in terms of acceptance. I'm fortunate. I've never had to worry about having to deal with some genetic-related disorder, and I can only imagine the people who are that wish they didn't have to worry about that, that wish we had a cure, and I sympathize with them. But we will always have people who disagree on any solution for a number of reasons. And I'm thankful we can at least have the discussion, because this may be something we have to deal with in our own lifetime. What is our limit on what is too far for progress? Should we sacrifice some for the benefit of our species as a whole? Should we screen out sex cells with bad genes that could potentially prevent people from existing, all for the sake of having a healthy population? Will we have to take away rights from people for the safety of our children? Because whatever we do, we may be stuck with for a long time. And I would definitely encourage all of you to look up debates over this if you're interested, and to never isolate your way of thinking to one side or the other. I think it's important that we think about what we as a species want to be recognized for, what we want to be known for. So, with all that said and done, my question for you guys is, should we continue to try to find cures? Should we attempt to screen for healthy sex cells? Or should we take it all the way and try to actually genetically improve ourselves? I would love to know what you guys think. So my name's Dale, this is Think Fact, and remember, never stop learning, or thinking in this case. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. That would really help me out. And if you enjoy my content, please feel free to subscribe for the facts and thoughts that almost everybody missed.